Okay, Isabel, here's part A. Um, I'll do, I will do B and C as well. And I haven't looked at the mark scheme actually, so I'm, this is what I would do. Um, so this is the substitution I'm going to use. How did I know to use that? Well, you just look at this and you think, well, if that was something simple like u squared, then that would all be okay. This is still a bit troubling, but we'll see what happens. So anyway, that's the substitution. So the first thing I'm going to do is to differentiate it because I know I need to replace dx with something to do with du. So if I differentiate this, one disappears, e to the minus x becomes e to the minus x, multiplied by what you get when you differentiate that, which is minus one. The three just passes through unchanged, so you end up with that. And then I rearrange it to get a dx equals expression. So that becomes, well, I leave that there. You'll see why I've left that there in a minute. But this becomes u squared and dx becomes this. That's what I've just worked out. Now you'll see why I left the 75e to the minus x, because I can now cancel out e to the minus x. So I'm left with 75 divided by minus 3, which is minus 25. And I'm going to leave that out the front. which I could also write as when you integrate u to the minus 2, increase the power by 1 and divide by what you get and divide by the new power. So that gives me because that's the same as 1 over and that minus 1 times that minus becomes positive, so I get 25 over u to the power of 1. u to the power of minus 1 is 1 over u to the power of 1. But that's what u was. And that's what they want, don't they, in the answer? They want uh, that way. k is an integer. Well, yeah, I got k to be 25. Um, so that's part A. So this second part, solve the differential equation, that means integrate this to get a p equals or a t equals function. In fact, they want it to be p squared equals. The trouble is we can't just integrate this because it's got p and t in there. So this is one of those ones where we have to separate the variables. I'm going to move the dt over here and have everything with a t in it. On this side so the 75e to the minus t and the bracket squared and then that 2p I'm going to multiply both sides by so that pops up over here and then I'm going to integrate separately so here integrating 2p with p as the variable gives you 2p squared increased power by 1 divided by the new power which is just p squared and integrating this is what we just did a moment ago. And we got 25 over 1 plus. Both of those integrations would give us a plus C, which we then write like this. Now, we're almost there, but we've got a plus C here. So what we really could do with this, some sort of set of values we can plug in, we call that a boundary condition. And we're told that... When the study began, t is zero, p was 1,500. Sorry, p was 5,500. Uh, so that would give me 5,500 squared is equal to 25 over. So uh, this is t, sorry, not x, that's t. Um, so when t is zero, minus zero, zero, same thing. So that becomes e to the power of 0, which is 1. So that becomes, that becomes that. Right, I've spotted my mistake. Uh, the, this is, uh, the, the population is in thousands. So that should be 5.5, 5, not 5,500. So that's nice and easy. So 5.5 squared, um, take away. 25 over 4. This is to give us the value of C, remember. C is 24. Oh. oh, sorry. So my final answer to part B is that P squared is equal to 
25 over 1 plus 3e to the minus t plus 24. That's part B. OK, and the last part of the question asks um, what happens to the population as t gets very, very big. Well, e to the minus t, um, this is the graph of e to the x or e to the t, and e to the minus t looks like this. So as t gets really, 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 really big, this will get really, 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 really small. It never reaches zero, but it almost gets zero. And three times zero-ish will be zero-ish. So actually, as t gets very big, that just becomes 25 divided by 1. So as t tends to infinity, p squared tends to 25 over 1 plus 24. So that's p squared. So p would, so that's 49, so p would be, Seven, so 7,000 is the final answer to that one, 7,000. Um, that's a big old question. I'm very happy to go through that with you on Monday or Tuesday if you're still unclear.